Okay, so I'm trying to think of where to start. Okay, so um, welcome. Um, we just want to start with saying we are going to be recording these. Just um, it's it's for us to look back at. It's it's helpful for um, to see progress, all of these things like that. Um, so in terms of the recording, um, we like to say that you have 51% of the vote on that. So if there comes a point where you're like, okay, I don't want to be taped or I don't want you to do anything with these videos, I don't, you know, whatever, that that is, uh, you have 51% of the vote there. Um, so that'll be between you, myself, Cody, when he's able to come to our sampling meetings, and then Dr. Herbert, of course. Okay. Um, there are not, I don't believe anybody else, any other students will be attending these sampling meetings, so if anything, it might just be me and Dr. Herbert, or be Cody and Dr. Herbert. Um, I don't know, did you have any um, opposition to that? Or? No. Okay, okay. so yeah, I believe at the most it would just be the three of us. Okay. Um, we are nearing the end of the semester, mm -hmm. so we may be meeting via Zoom if we continue to okay. do sampling meetings. Um, you know, going forward. So, I mean, is that okay with Yeah, me? that's fine. Okay, and then recording those, would that be Yeah, okay? that's fine. Okay, fine. very good. What I'll say about the recording too is, the, the reason why we record is because we can't go back in time to record, you know, like if we don't record something and we wish we would have, then we can't oh, take yeah, it back sure. for it. So, uh, uh, we, that's why we record these meetings and things like that. Okay. But Amber's right, where you, these are your video recordings, right? So we, okay. uh, we won't do anything with that without your expressed consent. Okay, got it. And this whole process, I would say, in that is in that same spirit. So you own, you have 51% of the stakes in this whole process. Okay. You have access to your experience and that's totally unique in your own. We okay. have no access to that. <laughs> your participation is okay. necessary, right? I, I mean, essential for us to do what we do. And you have your experience, we have some practice and skill in asking questions to try to get an experience. And so that's where really, you know, this whole process is the three or four of us all jointly sort of working together to get at your experience. Okay. So that sort of collaborative and all of that all the way through the whole process. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sounds like fun. Yeah, we don't want you to feel like it's three versus one, two versus one. Okay. We're all on the same team. Um, we're just trying to get. Okay, got it. We get the, apprehend your experience with the highest fidelity that we can. Okay. Um. I think that's it. Is there anything else? I was gonna move on to this. I would say too, just um, you know, this is mostly. I'm, I know that you and Amber have been talking. I'm just sort of. I just happen to be here, so I can join in. But what I would say too, so I'm letting Amber sort of take the lead <laughs> with you know, getting you sort of oriented to what we're doing. But what I would say too in all this is that this is a constantly evolving process. So it's unlike a lot of research, right? Where we know, you, you know, you'll get a paper and you'll sign it and that's it. And that's sort of the discussion of it. We recognize that, you know, we're asking a lot of you, we're asking a lot of ourselves in terms of scheduling these meetings, you wearing the beeper, prodding around in your experience and, you know, we whatever we might find there and all that kind of stuff. So think of this as just because we agree to something today doesn't mean that that's going to be the way that it's going to be forever. Okay. If, you know, you go through this and after the first time say thanks but no thanks, I'm good. Feel you have every right to do so and we won't that's not something that we will hold against you. Okay. And likewise, we might decide that we've reached, you know, that this is this is good. I mean, well, all I'm trying to say is that this is it's not like because you're saying yes today you are signing up for x amount of days of whatever and regardless yeah, of whether yeah, you like it or not that's what it's yeah. going to be every sort of step in this is a renewal of that consent or a checking in on that so okay. feel free i really just want to emphasize that as amber kind of said we're all in this together we're all jointly co-investigators in this so even though obviously you will be the person that is sitting on that side of the table wearing your wearing the beeper and whatnot that okay. that is we, That's good to the, know. The intention is the intention is not for you to be the guinea pig okay. and for us to sort of do whatever. Okay, got it. Thank you. Okay. Um, okay, so I'll start with this. So this here is a beeper, and um, we well we'll go through the controls of that. So um, if you pick it up, you see that there's a black spinning wheel on the top of it. Um, yeah. If you push that um, a little bit, if you push it like a uh, roll it, I don't okay. know how you. Push. Which direction? There you go. You can, 
Do you hit? Oh, he turned off the speaker. Yeah, the external speaker. Yeah, you might. You need to put the earphone. Okay. In. So there's a. I can hear something. Yeah. He, okay. he lowered the volume, so that basically okay. means that it's on. Okay. Um. There's a staple on this. Thing. Just help me so. Um. Let me open up the earphone for you. Oops. Sorry. So this is the earphone. We ask you to wear um with it. Um. So you just you know untie it and plug it into that silver portion up there. Um, and then that earpiece, um, just put it on there, it kind of helps it to stay in. It is only one side. Um, Should I plug this in right now? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Then you can hear it, and then um, that black will also adjust the volume. So it, I feel like it's pretty loud right now. Does it work like this? Yeah. Okay, yeah, it does sound. Yeah. So that, you yeah, can lower the volume. <laughs> um, but yeah, when you're ready, you can put that in your ear and then play with the volume. Um, when it clicks like that, that means you've turned it off. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So uh, that's the right ear thing? It doesn't matter. You can ch flip that thing yeah, around right, whichever way is more comfortable for okay, you. I'm so you're going to have to push, you're gonna have to push it on oh, yeah. really hard. So like really yeah, yeah. push the ear, push the, the plastic oh. piece on really hard yeah, so okay. it'll on the ear piece, and then it'll stick. Like yeah. that? Yeah, there you go. Okay. Yeah. So whichever ear is more comfortable for you, um, and then feel free to... You can the bend the plastic, too, to kind of fit more comfortably. Okay. Mm -hmm. You also have the option if you have your own, and press the button for now, I don't want you to have to be blowing yeah. out your eardrum. <laughs> so you can use your own wired earphones if you want. Mm -hmm. The sound will only come out of one ear okay. piece Irregardless. though. So yeah, just sure. know if you do use your own, if you choose to use your own earphones, mm -hmm. make sure you know which side the sound's coming out of and okay. put that side in your ear. All right, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so. Could you turn, let's turn it off and turn it back on again just so we can mess around with it. So the black wheel, okay. and then push it till it clicks. Like roll it until it clicks. There you go. So now it's off. Okay. Okay, so now let's turn it back on again. Oh no, with the black wheel. Okay. So push it. There you go. Okay, there so now you can adjust the volume. And then to stop that constant tone, um, you would hit that white button there. This one? Yeah. Should I do that now? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that means that you've started the, um, the interval. Mm -hmm. So the... Beeper, it will randomly go off, um, I think, any time within 60 minutes. So the beeper has an F. It's a random beep. We don't control the beeper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The beep, on average, will sound every 30 minutes, okay. on average. Yeah. But it can be as short as a few seconds. It can be as long up to an hour. Okay. But it will never be more than an hour. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's somewhere between there. But Yeah, so um, that's that. And then, um, so... When you hit that button after you hear the tone, the brrrr, then that starts the interval. Um, if you could pick up the beeper for me and press that white button and hold it down. Okay, so do you hear that kind of four square beep there? Yeah. You can let go. Um, so that is basically, um, since it's silent for so long, if you're kind of like, is this thing on? Is this thing working? You can just press the button oh, okay. down to make sure. If you want to adjust the volume, that's an easy way to do okay. it as well. Um, yeah, but when so when you do press and hold that thing, that button down, it does pause the interval. So, mm -hmm. for example, if your the beep the interval happens to be thirty seven minutes, if you hold that thing down for one minute, then it would go off in thirty eight minutes. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. So that's um, kind of how that works. Um, when the beep when a beep sounds to silence the beep, you would press that button mm -hmm. as well. So that would be okay. the same deal there. Um, so you have to, pre when a beep goes off, it'll keep going until you press the button. Yes, and okay. if you keep it, if you keep it on, it'll eventually enter this, this chirp mode that basically is saying, I think it has to be on for quite some time for mm. that to happen, but basically all that is saying is that like, um, to, to conserve the battery of the beeper, it'll just kind of go like, chirp. Okay. Chirp, it's just like, hey, I'm still on. I'm still on. I'm still on. You mm. haven't turned it off. Um, so, yeah. Um, okay. When you do that, and then after you do that, then it resets the interval. You leave it, it the interval, I don't think, resets um, if it goes into chirp mode. So the main thing with chirp mode is just be aware that if you hear a sound that sounds like it'll go like chirp, then about 30 seconds later it'll go chirp, 30 seconds chirp. Mm -hmm. If you if it enters that mode, just turn the turn the whole beeper off, right? Scroll the wheel down till it clicks, turn it back on, press the beeper, you're resetting okay. it at that yeah. point. Just know that the chirp sound is not the yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Is there an instruction pamphlet by any chance or something like that to re to remember all of this? Just uh, uh, yes. Okay. I feel like there's one on the faculty website. There's one. Yeah. Okay. We can good. send that to you. Okay. Yeah. I think that might be 
a good thing to 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 read through just so that I can refresh myself on yeah, it. Yeah, and then you can get more comfortable with the deeper. Yeah. Um, any questions with the basic mechanics? I think that's all. Oh, there's a clip on the back. You can clip it on your um, clothes if you'd like. You can put it in your pocket. Um, what whatever works for you. Right. Um, the earphone is a little bit long, so some people like to run the mm -hmm. earphone underneath their shirt because it might get caught yeah, on the I door. Mm -hmm. So, um, or however you can maneuver the wire around. Um, so, people do like to do that, I think. But yeah, whatever is comfortable for you in that regard. Um, I think is, is that it for beeper mechanics. So try to walk us through your understanding now of what okay. how the how to how to use the beeper. So right now, it's, if, I, if I hold it, I think it's currently on. So if I hold this, I should hear a tone I do. And uh, so if I wanted to turn it off, I would turn this until it clicked, mm -hmm. which I guess I can do right now. Yep, sure. Other way. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And then you heard that little eh at the, yes. at the end part. So that's like, it's, I, I don't know what the technical term is, but when you, um, like when you turn on, it goes up, that kind of noise. That's kind of what's happening there. So just make sure it clicks when you turn it off. That, and okay. that beep is not a beep. That's just the tone that the okay. thing is making to say, hey, I'm on, adjust my volume. Okay, got it. Yeah. And then uh, if I want to turn it back on, I do this. Yep. And you should hear the And then I click this once. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then it. it's on. Yep. So it's ready to go. Okay. It's ready to go. Yep. Yeah. So And you've started sampling. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. So I think that's it for beeper mechanics. So I'm gonna hand you this notebook. So uh, basically the task that we are asking you to do, or your task, um, is to wear the beeper, go about your daily life, or you know, go, go about what you normally do, just live your life, whatever. And um, the goal is uh, to apprehend what, so this is time marching on here, and this is the sound of the beep. We want to apprehend what's going on in your experience right here at this moment. Okay. So, yeah, so again, time is marching on, there's the beep, and then I turn the beep off and time keeps going on. Mm -hmm. We want we want this moment right here, or where we are going to try and apprehend this moment okay. right here as to the best of our abilities. Um, and then that is your notebook, so feel free to take notes. Um, you can write notes. Um, some people like to do notes on their phones. Some people like to do that. Some You can use whatever medium of okay. note-taking you'd like. Um, that's just what we were offering you okay. <laughs> today. Um, but yeah, it is up to you how you'd like to do the notes. Um, and we, we, we don't look at the notes. The notes is between you and whatever, your phone, your, your notebook, mm -hmm. your laptop, whatever. Um, that's between, that's yours. That's, um, we don't look at that. That's just to help you when we do our um, interview, just so that you can look back and be like, okay. Okay, so. You want me? You want me to take notes right now? Are you saying this is to write down? That's it's it's for your experience. But if you'd okay. like to take notes just to help you remember what's going on, I mean, I'm not opposed to it. Okay. I don't think that's violating any rules. <laughs> yeah. If yeah. If, if okay. I don't. Way. I don't need to. I was just. I was just making no, no, sure no. that's not what you're asking. No. 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 Yeah. It's more for when uh, when you uh, uh, when you sample and um, it, when we schedule our day one meeting, we ask that you wear the beeper. Um, no longer than 24 hours before. So if we schedule okay. it Monday, then you know you could wear it on Sunday, but not before Sunday. Uh, we we okay. um, say that you can sleep on the beeps once, and then after that it kind of gets a little muddy. So okay. um, yeah, so that's kind of when you would go about and you could take your notes and wear mm -hmm. the beeper and all those things like that. Um, yeah, is that it? So I'll, I'll emphasize certain parts yeah, that I please, think are please. so. <laughs> Amber did mention so the, the what your really only task is to do what we want you what we're interested in having you do is wear that beeper and as much as possible try to relax into whatever it is that you're doing. So obviously you you can't help but you're wearing an earphone mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff. But my recommendation, our recommendation would be try as much as possible just to forget you're wearing the beeper. Just try to get do whatever it is that you're doing, and and when you wear the beeper is totally up to you. Okay. So we have no particular preference for any particular time. That's that's your call. What I would say is, especially the first time you're wearing it, I would recommend that you try to find an a, about a three hour block to wear the beeper. Um, 
and that three hour mark comes from if the beep goes off every half an hour on average we, we ask you to collect six beeps mm -hmm. so roughly that'll take about three hours of wearing the beeper but it is random so it could take you an hour it could take you up to six hours okay. but sorry excuse me usually it's three hours mm -hmm. and the reason for that is what we don't what what isn't ideal what i wouldn't recommend is wearing the beeper get one beep turn it off put it back on again an hour later get one beep turn it off and the reason for that is it doesn't really give you a chance the beeper is always sort of front and center mm -hmm. right and that's not what we're interested in right. we're not interested in your sort of like intentional you always forget about it that's yes. ideal yeah. okay and when the beep goes off right what we're interested in is the what we call the last undisturbed moment before the beep interrupts you so we want what we're interested in is what the beep sort of catches in flight what the beep mm -hmm. interrupts and we recognize that that's not perfect right like we're we like to say the millisecond just before the beep sounds that's not literal but what we mean is a very specific point in time. So what we don't want to have you report on is a lot of people wear the beeper will say they'll wear it and you know at the first beep they're saying, well, you know what was going on was, well, I woke up early that morning, so I was really tired and I had two exams and then I worked out and then I came back and I was hungry and so that was all kind of going on at the beep, right? All of that stuff would have been way, way out here, the hours and minutes before you wore the beeper. We're interested in a really small, specific moment in time okay. which is that that very last moment before that beep basically reminds you right to capture what was in your experience and what we're interested in specifically is direct what we call directly apprehended experience okay. so sort of in the same way that you would take a picture right at like a snapshot of a moment in time and that picture you could say well there was a red car there and there was a tree here whatever, we want to capture what we like to call as unambiguously present to you at the moment of the beat. Okay. So whatever that might be, right? It could be nothing. It could be a sensory feeling of something. It could be a mental thing of something. We don't care in any direction of what phenomena it captures, but we're interested in whatever happens to be directly apprehended by okay. you at the moment. Yeah. And I would strengthen what Amber said about the notebook to say when that beep goes off, I think having a physical notebook is most helpful to take notes on. And, and those notes specifically, the intention of the notes at least, is for that you, rather than having the beep go off, try to remember what's there and then come in without taking any notes and then having to talk to us about describing your experience at that moment. That'll be pretty challenging memory-wise, and so mm -hmm. the notes are to sort of act as almost like contemporaneous data collection of your experience. You can think of it that way, but really it's just an opportunity for you when the experience is still fresh, right? Like mm -hmm. within a second, you know, turning off, as soon as that beep sounds and you turn it off, right? We want the note taking to start right, right afterwards, because yeah. we find that often that experience is pretty fleeting. Mm -hmm. so. Even even the act of you know taking out your phone and unlocking it and yes. finding the notes out, in that whole process we it it's it sometimes happens that even in that couple second delay people will kind of forget what was caught in flight by the beat. Mm -hmm. The notebook's easy just because you know you just have it in your right. pocket, open it, yeah, and just start exactly. jotting down notes. So I feel like I should attach a pen to it as well, just so that uh, I don't have to worry about getting a pen out too. Yeah, like I would I would recommend that. So yeah. I would say. And, and I would say to all that, you might find for yourself that for whatever reason, like physically writing the notes is, does cause you to lose the experience. And that's where I would say, if you find that taking notes on your phone or on your computer or, you know, audio notes, whatever, whatever is going to help you be able to, um, remember, or, you know, to, 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 to have access to whatever that it, the phenomena was at the moment of the, at each of those beeps. I would say go for it. And like Amber said, those notes are not part of our, we will never look at your notes and okay. analyze the notes or things like that. Those notes are purely notes written by you for you. Okay. So yeah, feel free to write your notes however makes sense to you. It, it does not matter to us how you okay. do that. And yeah, you kind of said that better myself, yeah, just to capture exactly to the best of, you know, best, best that we can what was going on um, at that very, very small uh, 
window of time that you're okay. interested in. Well, I shrink that say too. It's not just what's going on. It's what's in your what is yes. directly yes. present to you in your experience. Because a lot of things go on in every moment, that's right? True. Like you can be sitting in the chair, you have the earphone in your ear. Mm. That's no doubt going on, but likely I'm assuming, right? What those weren't necessarily directly present to you until I draw yeah. your attention yeah. to the earpiece mm-hmm. and the chair mm-hmm. and your butt on the chair and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. We want to know what's in your direct, ex- okay. uh, directly apprehended experience. Yeah. Okay. And then um, I guess another thing that I'd like to emphasize is you don't have to take any guesses. Um, if you don't know, you can say like, oh, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, you can say nothing. As Cody mentioned earlier, sometimes nothing is in people's experience that, that we found that mm-hmm. a few times. So that is also an acceptable answer. Um, it's not like we have any rules for mm-hmm. what is experience. There are no rules. So anything that is is in your direct experience is, is something we are interested in and something okay. we'd like to hear about. So don't, I, I mean, I don't want you to feel that like the beep goes off. I don't know what's going on. I got to tell these guys something, so I'm going to take a guess. Like, mm-hmm. you know, we're, we're not interested in that. We, we are interested in knowing that I don't know, nothing was going on or I didn't think anything was going on. We are interested in that. Okay. So yeah, just wanted to emphasize that. Okay. That, that, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It sounds, um, it does sound challenging. Uh, it seems like it's going to be difficult to to remember. It is a bit of a challenging um, procedure. Does it get easier with practice? I would say so. Yes. Okay. Because yes. I have a feeling that's going to need to happen. I it, think it sounds. It does sound like I'm going to be really bad at this at first. <laughs> no, don't worry. Um, it, it it's it is a very challenging and difficult process, and and um, uh, the first day is is very difficult. Okay. So so. There, there is no pressure. Like, please do not worry about that. <laughs> okay. Um, again, we, we don't have any expectations. We don't expect to find anything. We don't expect to. We're not looking for anything. We just genuine. We just genuinely are curious. What is going on in your experience? Okay. And what I would say to that is, for mo- we expect you to not do a great job at this on the first day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is sort of, and that's not a fault on you. That's mm-hmm. that is. We. F- my experience has been it's impossible no matter how much we've talked to you about this today and you know we've clearly spent some bit of time trying to define what we're interested in and mm-hmm. give you you know um opportunity to try the beep round and stuff mm-hmm. in almost every single case the first day is always difficult and the reason for that is we recognize that we are asking you to do a lot of things that you likely probably are not doing now or haven't had any practice in right you're having to attend to this whatever is directly happened in your experience at this specific moment in time, that's sort of novel and new. You're going to have to put to words these experiences that may not necessarily adhere to words and things like that. Yep. And that is challenging. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and the reason why, you know, basically the, the longer sort of term project here is the, the hope would be that we do this over several rounds. So, you know, we'll find the time to meet for your first interview. You'll wear the beeper. We'll, we'll talk about it and probably do a pretty sloppy job at that. But as a function of schlepping our way through the sloppiness on the first interview, then you'll all of us will be better positioned to potentially apprehend and describe better a fresh set of experiences, right? So if we do this a second time, you'll wear the beeper again. And, and hopefully, as a result of our conversations on the first sampling day, you'll be able to know, okay, this is kind of, right, you'll, it'll better inform what how to apprehend your experience will be better informed to talk about that on our second interview and so we call that iterative training right and it's just it's really impossible at the outset to kind of define what it is that we're going to find and how to do this and stuff like that so that's why we're sort of intentionally vague even here with these instructions yeah, because okay. there is sort of no there's no right way of doing this there's no you don't want to lead the witness it's actually more th- yes and it's more than that it's that we and we don't know what we'll find yeah. okay. really got it and yeah. so i would what i would encourage you to do is just to be again like relax into the wearing the beeper as much as possible and even with the task um whatever will allow you to sort of be the most i don't know the best receptive the most open to just kind of recognizing like what what was kind of directly present to me at that last moment just before the beep went off, right? Mm-hmm. 
whatever helps, whatever kind of mindset, process, what have you, to, to kind of be receptive to your experience in that moment is the better. But we expect you to be bad at it. And we expect ourselves to ask bad questions about yeah. that starting yeah. off on this. Yeah. That's not a failure on any of our parts. That's just the way that this goes. Mm -hmm. More than likely what's going to happen is after the first interview, you'll feel like, well, if I had known you would have asked me questions like this or that, mm -hmm. then I would have I would have paid more attention to that. And that, that's kind of the our hope is that mm -hmm. as a result of that conversation, and even for your first sampling, right, you'll probably leave today having some idea of what we're interested in. You'll wear the beeper once, we'll talk about it, and you'll say, geez, like, that was way different than what I was expecting. And each round will kind of feel that way. Mm -hmm. What we find often is that people get, people can and do get better at apprehending their experience and talking about their experience over time, but it does take time and um, making mistakes. And that's mm -hmm. our goal is not to be perfect at it. Our goal is to is recognizing that that is a difficult task, You're right? Okay. And doing our best to try to do what is possible to okay to do. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, is there any advice uh, on like making sure that you're not accidentally like putting things in that weren't there? Uh, because you mentioned like not n noting like the I, I probably didn't have this in my awareness until you mentioned it, right? Um, You know, I think I'm just gonna have to try this a few times in, the, in order for in order to ask the question. Try to ask the question I'm trying yeah. to ask. No, but, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, and 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 um and like Cody was saying, th this is a learning process for all of us. So yeah. the first day, yeah, we're we're still learning how to communicate with you. We're still learning how to ask you the right questions. Questions, we're we're learning how to ask you things and talk to you in such a way that you'll understand what we're asking. And then we're also trying to you know understand what you're saying. Okay. So it, and it's not again, it's not a critique on anyone's part. We're it's it's iterative for everyone so mm -hmm. we, we are all on the same team and we are all learning so okay. yeah don't don't worry about things like that um we'll 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 cross those bridges when we get there and okay. and and um feel free to bring questions to the first sampling day or any sampling day um when we start we usually ask if there's anything that you have questions about or anything you'd like to talk about prior to starting um we, we, usually, we do ask that, and if you do have a question, like feel free to bring it up at the start of the meeting when everyone's present, and then we can all address that as a team. Okay, yeah. sounds good. Um, is there anything else other than scheduling? Um, to your question about advice, I would say the best, the best thing I would advise is just to give it a shot. Yeah. Okay. You can feel free to play around with the beeper prior to the sampling day. So mm -hmm. what I mean by that is if you want to just see what it's like to wear it and just cut you know yeah. like in that way practice with it that's that's totally <clears throat> fine okay um, but but once we set a time to meet please do wear the beeper and try to get six beeps um, okay the, the, the day before yeah okay six uh, six beeps at least or exactly six beeps S uh, six is like the max I would say eight yeah. aim for six yeah okay. we understand life happens and so you might block out some time for it and you only get to five and that's all you get to, mm -hmm. that's fine. So we, we it's not like we have a mandate that it has to be six, but aim for six. Okay. And yeah, six is just our happy number, I guess. <laughs> six is really just the amount of time. Uh, we find that that's sort of the, a sweet spot of, gives us enough to talk about for an hour, but not too much. Because yeah. if you okay. collect more than that, we probably won't get to seven or eight or nine beats. Okay, yeah. so, all right, makes yeah. sense. We also don't want to overkill um, Anything we talk about too, because it, it is it is taxing on everyone. So, okay, yeah, we don't want to, yeah, make too much work for you. Either. Okay, all right, um, makes sense. Do you have any other questions for us? Uh, <clears throat> I think I probably will. Uh, by the first sampling meeting, but not right now. Okay, that's no problem. Um, you have everyone's emails, and you will have you will have all of our emails. We will email you that thing. Um, the the instructions that you asked. What about. I'd recommend is if I was going to give him my phone. Yeah, I was going to say have Amber be your point of contact. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if you have like issues if whatever happens and you want like a time sensitive response, I would I would say try to text Amber. Send and, me a text, yeah, then. Okay. And you can also email us too, but obviously if it's something that, you know, probably a text is going to be more yeah. time effective. Okay. So. Yeah. I'm, yeah, better with the text messages is just faster. 
Um, yeah, is there anything else that you've got? Cause, uh, um, you can just, anything. <laughs> I can't think of anything beyond, again, kind of strengthening what Amber mentioned on. We, uh, we have no ulterior motives to this, or there is no, we are, we strive to be, and I think we do a pretty good job of being as transparent as possible with, okay. you know, what, what this process is, where we're coming from, and all that kind of stuff. We, I think it's, I think it's really interesting to do this kind of research. I think not, I think this kind of research is, very very rare in psychology and so um you know i i i hope you know a lot of i hope that as a process of this not only will sort of collectively the four of us learn something about inner experience but that this is something that maybe you'll find personally enjoyable or interesting i know a lot of people that have gone through our worn the beeper and done that kind of stuff have learned you know something surprising about inner experience and um I'm looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. I think we're all looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah. That's all it. right. Yeah, so Sounds good. Yeah. Do you have any other questions? Anything? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, I'm excited, though. Okay, great. And then uh, if we're meeting in the afternoon, you can choose to wear the beeper the day before or the morning before. Okay. So that, that is up to you, what what you choose to do. Um, so you don't want me to wear it too long before then? No. So okay. so let's, for example, if we were to sample on Tuesday, uh, we would ask that you wear the beeper at the at the earliest Monday. At the earliest Monday. Okay. Yeah. Got Not, no, no time before Monday. Okay. Yeah. Um, yes. So... I don't know if that changes your scheduling. If it does, just let us know. Um, it's not a problem. Um, but, yeah, I think that's it. Again, I will follow up with everyone about which times these are. Is is that still work for you if we if you plan to wear the day before? Yes. Oh, yeah, that works. Uh, okay. Tuesday is actually probably uh, the most preferable. Okay. Uh, that would be Tuesday the 6th. Yeah. But they all still work. But I'm just saying Tuesday is probably the most preferable uh, okay. under those circumstances. Yeah. Okay, no problem. So yeah, um, yeah. It, it, so let's say we do sample on Tuesday. You could wear the beaver anytime on Monday or Tuesday morning. Mm -hmm. um, we just ask that you try your best to collect six beeps uh, before coming okay, in. Okay, sounds good. Um, and then we'll meet here. And I think that is it, unless you have any questions for us or anything. Uh, no, no questions yet. Uh, just, I guess out of curiosity, sure. I would, probably wouldn't do this, but out of curiosity, how interested are you in like, <laughs> experiencing sampling people when they're sleeping if they're having like a dream or something um, would that even work or so we find so we have had I I've, I've, I've been in some beeps where that's happened mm. we usually I mean there there's really no such thing as usual here because we, we you know we kind of treat everything as one off but yeah. typically it's not ideal mm. if only because if someone's sleeping you're really not in a position to necessarily be paying attention yeah, to what's ongoing, right. and so if the beep interrupts you, it it, can, it it because the moment is sort of screwed up, messed yeah. up, right? Mm -hmm. Then then it is sort of difficult to do the okay. task. But I would say so. I, I would say I would say early on, just wear the beep at a time when it is both convenient for you yeah. and also not too like taxing you know like i like I, I wouldn't recommend doing this like in the middle of a like a, like a test <laughs> i can't i can't think of a good I, I guess like sleeping would be a good example where it's like i, I think it's it, it it's it's already going to be somewhat possibly difficult or novel right and i would hate mm -hmm. to subject that novelty to additional <laughs> testing but stress yeah. testing it even yeah. more right so yeah. where it where it's a time that's going to be you know relatively easy for you to wear the beeper and kind of grasp what's going on at the beep mm -hmm. yeah. but I'm. I would also say that we don't have hard. That's not a hard and fast rule. Okay. That we never ever yes, do that and stuff. Sure. But. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't planning on. It. I was just yeah. curious. That, that is a good question. Okay. <laughs> I do think it'd be that kind of study be interesting. But yeah, we haven't found a way of getting the uh, being able to specify the moment when someone's asleep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, I feel like when I'm dreaming, um, and I wake up in the middle of the dream, it's pretty hard to like 
say how long ago the dream was. Mm -hmm. Kind of sometimes it feels like it was immediate. Sometimes it feels like it was a long time ago, and you just woke up and it feels immediate. You know. But I would say what you're talking about is the kind of is sort of in the ballpark of the experience we're interested in, though. And what I mean by that is. Your inner experience can often be very disconnected, right, or not follow the rules of reality. Even though you might be doing something at a particular moment, does it mean that it has to be in your experience, right? You, mm-hmm. you can be driving and be doing all that skillfully, right, not crashing into cars, not mm-hmm. doing that, merging lanes correctly, but all that driving could be sort of happening as a fact of the universe, but none of that is directly in your experience, okay. right? But what's in your experience is something totally else, right? And Got it experientially time works differently like that too right where something could have in reality just happened just just a second ago but my experiences of it being delayed or suspended in time or things like that right and i say that as examples of um it's focusing on that what is in your experience okay. that we're centrally so i won't bend it to make sense with reality i'll <laughs> no. just i'll give you straight up what yeah. I'm feeling at the time. Absolutely. Whatever is directly okay. apprehended. I would say okay. if if it happens to be in concert with reality, sure, that's sure. that's fine. And okay. if it doesn't, that's fine too. All right. Yep. Makes There's sense. no rules here. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. All right. Yep. So does that is that cover everything? I believe so. For Unless now? you've got okay. anything for us. So Amber will send, like she said, we'll finalize the time on our end and let you know when that'll be. Okay. And then Amber will send you a reminder. The day, the day before, to wear the remi- remember to wear the beeper, and then we'll get together and talk about those beeps. Okay, that sounds great. Yeah, and then, yeah, feel free if you would feel more comfortable to experiment with it any time before our sampling. That's completely fine. Okay. Yep. Um, yeah, however you'd like to go about it. All right. Is there, like, a little bag that I'm supposed to put this in here? Um, no, that bag had a staple on it, and it is all broken. Okay, out. that's so fine. It, it, it's, I, I wrapped mine around the beeper. I, oh, that's I, a good idea. Yeah, I had mine. I just left it plugged in. And I wrapped it around it. Oh, right, that's perfect because yeah. it has the little clip thing. Which yeah, it it, it won't. Um, the headphone won't drain the battery or anything like that. Okay. So, yeah. Good idea. That's what I did um, when I had a beaver. All right. Yeah, however, yeah. However. <laughs> It'll you, take me a second, but I'll get yeah, it. Yeah, no problem. This kind of looks like a garage door up there. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. A really big one. Oh, and um, Dr. Horowitz like said that those things are pretty, they're pretty tough. Um, just, uh, I don't think they, they fare very well with water. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, just don't wear it. It does look kind of heavy duty yeah, otherwise. Yeah, so just don't wear it in the shower, but otherwise it's it's pretty, it's a pretty tough, uh, it's a pretty tough device, so okay, no worries sense. about that. All right. I wouldn't go out of here to test that, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't stress test it, but. Yeah. I won't, okay, <laughs> no worries. All right, perfect. And uh, put this here for now. Okay, so uh, I'm waiting on uh, we'll, Dr. Herbert to decide what day. We'll let you know, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. he'll, yeah. We'll we'll just finalize so the whole group can be. Here. Okay, perfect. Yeah. That sounds great. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank I put you. my sunglasses. Oh, are they in the? Are no, they I put them here. Okay. Never mind. I'm just uh, losing my mind. Oh, no problem. You got everything? I do. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. I hope you both have a great day. Yep. You too. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. Bye-bye.